you're having a good day so far. Today, I'll be showing you how I made the pop-up carousel I'm using as my cover page for the month of June. I initially wanted to do a carnival or amusement park type of theme for March, but my bullet journal would have been bulky towards the middle area because of the pop-up and it will be really hard to write. So I waited until I'm at the end of my journal to use this theme. If you want to skip this part, I have linked the timestamps in the description box below. A little backstory. So in January, while I was planning this theme, I also wanted to make a pop-up card thing to go with the theme. My first choice was a roller coaster, but I couldn't find a template that's free and that I really like. It would have been perfect because the roller coaster is my favorite park ride. I'm honestly afraid of heights, but I enjoy the occasional thrill of a roller coaster ride. Anyway, after looking for other options, I found this carousel pattern and it looked somewhat doable for a beginner. So I immediately printed it out and started cutting away. I was doing this late at night until 7 o'clock the next morning. Yes, I did it in one go and my hand was so sore after. It didn't help that I was using a vellum board because I thought that would be a sturdier material to make this pop up. But it only made the cutting twice as hard. It also took an hour or so to assemble it the first time. What I'm showing now is the second try on this carousel pop-up. I used watercolor paper that's a little lighter than the vellum board, so cutting was a bit easier. The only issue I have now is, as I was assembling this, I kind of realized that it was too big for my journal. Yes, I forgot to test it before I started cutting away. The first one I made, I had scaled down before printing, and I completely forgot about that. So I'll still be using the first one for my journal and will just find another use for this in the future. I surely won't make a third carousel anytime soon, so that will do. For the month title, I downloaded a carnival type font and just printed it out in black and white and then colored it in using yellow and red tumble dual brush pens. If you're interested in making this carousel pop up, I've linked everything in the description box below and this is what the completed carousel pop-up looks like before I move on to setting up the calendar here's a quick look on my May panda themed spreads I will also finish setting up everything else before I attach the carousel on this blank page for the monthly calendar, I used pastel colored Tombow dual brush pens to bring some color to this page. I will be using a lot of red and yellow, so this is a good way to tone down the brighter colors. I also drew in a ticket booth in relation to what comes after this page. I used the same font and colors for the days of the week as that in the cover page. For the weeklies, I decided to draw an amusement park landscape across six or seven pages and made a Dutch door on the lower half as well. Since my cover page took a lot of work and was so long to make, I decided to keep all the weekly setups in one. In this drawing, I featured some of my favorite rides, the top being the roller coaster in the background, the swing ride, and the ferry's wheel. I also included a haunted house, cause why not? It's something different. Then the pirate ship, which I think I hate the most cause of that drop in my stomach every time it swings down. And it's 2-3 minutes of that on repeat. Compared to the roller coaster, after the first initial drop, I get to enjoy the ride. And then I added a castle, of course, a tent for some show, a food cart, and a train. I colored this in using different tumble dual brush pens, mostly keeping with the pastel colors plus the reds and yellows. If I could change some of the colors I used here, I would have, 
or at least planned a little better or waited until I was in a better mood to color. Overall, I'm really happy that I finally get to do this theme. The pop-up was a challenge, but I'm glad I did it anyway. Please consider subscribing to this channel for more bullet journal setups and stationary haul videos. Or follow me on Instagram at Serendipity and Bliss. Now here's the final flip there. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching, stay safe, and have a great week ahead. Bye!